Hey everyone, welcome back to yet another episode of Far Cry 5. So today we're going to be talking about all the weapons that have been identified in the Far Cry 5 trailer, as well as some of the game art that has been released over the past week. And if you like these types of videos, then make sure you leave a like on this video and subscribe if you're new to the channel for more Far Cry 5 content in the future. So we're going to just kind of go through the trailer and, and analyze everything to get to see what weapons are expected to make its way when the game finally launches on January 27th, 2018. So let's dive straight into this with the first weapon that we can notice, which is the Winchester Model 71, which is a lever action rifle. And I kind of hope there's going to be more of these types of rifles in the game, as well as some bot action rifles. And you can see it's been modified with a sniper's scope on top of it, which is obviously going to be very useful for hunting and sniping your enemies. So that does kind of confirm that there is indeed going to be gun customization in the game, which is kind of to be expected from a Far Cry game. I mean, we've seen it before, so it would be kind of weird if they would downgrade it and not include that in this title as well. I mean, they did kind of say that the character customization and gun customization is going to be a major part of Far Cry 5. As these shots are going by, you can kind of see that a lot of the enemies are wielding the same weapon, which appears to be the AR-C, which we get a closer look at later on in this video. So in the next show, we get a good look at Pastor Jerome Jeffries, which seems to be one of the main characters characters in this game that you could cooperate with and as you can see right next to him is the Remington 870 which is a pretty standard shotgun when it comes to gaming I mean we've seen it before and I'm sure we'll see it again it seems to be pretty standard in this shot there doesn't seem to be any sort of modifications no other camouflage or anything and I just hope that Far Cry isn't gonna go down the route of COD with giving you ridiculous camouflage for guns. Just please keep them pretty basic, keep them realistic, and you'll have my thumbs up. So as you can see, the previously mentioned AR-C, which seems to be the standard rifle for all of the bad guys in the game. A lot of them seems to be wielding it, and it looks like, once again, it's not really upgrading, doesn't have any sights or scope, which is kind of weird how it doesn't even have a proper iron sight. I'm not sure if the Far Cry developers just missed out on this detail. I am no gun expert, so maybe you have to attach them separate or they pop up or something like that. I'm just not sure, but in this shot, it just doesn't look like they can properly aim down sight. So here you can see the FP6 shotgun. There appears to be a lot of shotguns that are making its way to Far Cry, which is kind of good. It's kind of to be expected because, I mean, not everybody is going to have access to assault rifles. But it's pretty cool to see that there's quite a lot of them, so you'll be able to blast your enemies away with some of these bad boys. So here we can catch a quick glimpse of the Mac 10 submachine gun, which seems to be held by one of the players. I personally think that this part of the trailer is showing the two-player co-op, how one person is driving the quad bike and another one is on its back shooting with the submachine gun. But what's really interesting is the back of that player. As you can see, this is kind of showing the gun customization. This appears to be one of the most common assault rifles in this trailer, which was basically wielded by all of the bad guys. And as you can see, it has a different camouflage and a sniper scope on it, which is a little bit weird for an assault rifle, but hey, everybody has different play styles, so this is kind of Ubisoft showing you, hey, you can customize your weapons, you can do whatever you want with them to kind of tailor towards your own play style. So this next weapon is a little bit hard to make out, but I personally believe is the M1911 pistol. I mean, it is pretty common throughout the USA to see this weapon. Also, it's been used in the military. So I personally believe it's that pistol, but you have to take it with a grain of salt because as I said, it is a little bit hard to make out what it is exactly. But maybe you can share your opinions and your suggestions down in the comments below. So these seem to be all the confirmed weapons as it comes to the trailer. However, they also, as you guys know, released the art of basically their last supper where you have all the bad guys sitting around the table and you have plenty of weapons over there which kind of would mean that they're gonna include those weapons in the game. But who knows, so that's why this is gonna kind of be speculation, this next part, because obviously what we see in the trailer is kind of to be expected, but in game art, not everything is gonna make its way to the game. So for this part, I'm only gonna mention the weapons that haven't been included in the trailer. So as you can see, on the bottom right corner, you can clearly see the two RPGs in the corner and some RPG ammo right there. Right next to it is the M4A1, which I'm sure a lot of people are going to be very happy to see in the game. And it was a little bit to be expected because it's an American weapon. It's kind of like an American icon almost of the weapon world. So it's kind of 
be expected to see it in a Far Cry game that is set in America. You can see some MK2 grenades as well. And at the top, you can catch a little glimpse of the Scorpion submachine gun. And to the left of that is the compound bow, which a lot of people I know are going to be once again excited for this. I mean, it is kind of to be expected from a Far Cry game because it's been in so many of the Far Cry games. So people are going to be very happy that it's making its return to this game as well. So if we make our way over to the left side of the image, you can see on the table there's a sort of double barrel shotgun with some fancy, some funky looking camo over there. So once again, hinting at the gun customization, maybe this is going to be one of the limited or hard to get camos. Who knows how you're going to be able to unlock them. And also on the table, you can see the .44 Magnum, which is going to be amazing to see because, I mean, everybody predicted that this is going to be a Western game. Everybody probably got excited to use the .44 Magnum. So you'll get the chance to do that in this game. That seems to be everything when it comes to the weapons that have been identified. Let me know if I have actually missed something. If there's a weapon you'd like to see, a weapon that you're excited for that you already saw in the trailer. Just let me know in the comments down below. And as always, if you enjoyed this video, if you find it helpful or informational, then make sure you leave a like on it. Subscribe to the channel for more Far Cry 5 content. As always, thank you so much for watching. Hope you're going to have a wonderful day and I'll see you guys next time. Take care and goodbye. Bye-bye, bye-bye.